Hello, welcome to Mess with Nile, and today we'll be learning about prime numbers. Hi, Nile. What is a prime number? A number that only one and itself can go into, which means it has only two factors. Oh, factors. So we've done factors before. Can you remind everyone what a factor is? A number that can go into another number. Without a? Remainder. Okay. So can you give us um, a factor of six? Two because 2 can go into 6 three times. Brilliant. Can you give me a factor of 10, Niall? 5, because 5 can go into 10 two times. Brilliant. So you said that a prime number has two factors only. Yes. Does that mean it cannot have one factor? No, it cannot, which means 1 is not a prime number, because 1 only has one factor, which is 1. Brilliant, Niall. So 1 is not a prime number, because it has one factor. Yes. So can you give us an example of a prime number? 3, because only th 1 and itself, which is aka 3, can go into 3. Okay, so 3 has two factors. Which yes. You said it's 1 and 3. Can you give us another example of a prime number? 7, because only 1 and 7 can go into 7. Okay. Is 12 prime? No, because 12, 2 can go into 12, but also 1 and 12 can go into 12, and also 6 can go into 12, and 3 and 4 can go into 12. So, 12 so it's has... clearly not. So it would need to only have two factors. Brilliant. Is 15 a prime number? No, because 3 and 5 can also go into 15. Because it will, and then 1 and 15 can still go into 15. Okay. What about 13? 13, 13. Yes! Because only 1 and 13 can go into 13. Okay, so only 1 and the 13 itself. Brilliant. Are there any even prime numbers, Niall? There is only one even prime number, which is 2, because only 1 and 2 can go into 2. Brilliant. So 2 is an even prime number. Why isn't there any other even prime numbers? Because 2 can go into all other even numbers. So it will always have more than 2? Yes, it will always have at least 3. Now, let's see if you can call all the prime numbers between 10 and 20 in ascending order. Okay, I accept your challenge. Maybe everyone at home can join in as well. And if you beat me, then you have to smash that like button. Okay guys, let's go. Prime numbers between 10 and 20 in ascending order. 11, 13, 17 and 19. Brilliant. Prime numbers between 0 and 10 in ascending order. 2, 3, 5, 7. Yeah, that's it. 2, 3, 5 and 7. Okay. Do you know any prime numbers, Naya, between 20 and 30? Any one? 21. I mean 23. <laughs> <laughs> Why is 21 not prime? Because 7 can go into 21 three times. Brilliant. And why is 23 prime? Because only 1 and 23 can go into 23. Brilliant. Okay. Can you give me a prime factor of 10? 2. Okay. 5. 2 and 5. Brilliant. Can you give me a factor of 10 that is not prime? 1 and 10. Yes, 1 and 10 are factors of 10, and neither of them are and prime. And 1 isn't prime, remember that. Yes. A common <laughs> mistake. It is, it is. We mustn't forget that. That's a big mistake that people make all the time. Okay, can I have a prime factor of 24? Two. 
correct, can have another prime factor of 24. Three! <laughs> Brilliant. Maybe someone at home beat you with that question, Niall. They probably did, because I did not get that straight away. Can you give me a prime number between 40 and 50? 41, because only 1 and 41 can go into 41. Brilliant, Niall. Last question, Niall. Can you give me a prime number between 50 and 60? 53. 53 is correct. <laughs> and why is 53 prime? Because only 1 and 53 can go into 53. Well done now, that comes to the end of today's video. Bye, I hope you enjoyed the video and if you did, subscribe now. Bye! Wait, give me one sec. Bye! Yes, he's gotten a lot bigger. <laughs>